Well, now the story of a woman who is pursuing her master's degree at Rochester Institute of Technology. Now, she was born and raised in Kabul, Afghanistan. And during the Taliban regime from 1996 to 2003, she was banned from her job teaching economics at Kabul University. But despite her hardships, she has fond memories of her city. More now on Chris Coffey's Viewfinder. Shakriya Amani shared her memories of Kabul. She said life was very good there until the communists took power, and then the Mujahideen, and then the Taliban. As an RIT student, she's living here on borrowed time. She likes America very much. She says there are happy endings here, not like in Afghanistan. I like it there very much. I had my family, my brothers, my relatives, and I had my school there. Then um, when war started, it was miserable, of course. The government don't care about the life of people. They don't care about, you know, nothing. Sometimes I don't rec recognize my people. They change it so much. Something has, should be done that we don't lose our culture. It's really nice. The Taliban demanded women stay home and not work. And they even came to people's houses, forced them to leave their houses, and then they took all the properties, killed most of the men. It was really, really bad. The Taliban jailed Amani for four okay. days for her efforts to continue teaching. Actually, I, I gave up because, <laughs> you know, nobody can solve problems in Afghanistan. Honored with a Fulbright scholarship, Amani now studies at RIT. My concentration is accounting, and actually when, when I was in Afghanistan, I, I thought that uh, I know a lot about accounting. But when I came here, I realized that I know nothing. After I finish my degree, I can enjoy my life a little bit. People of America, they are so nice. They didn't expect that people are so nice. But when I came here, I see that really people are really nice. If I go back home, I want to find a way to help women in Afghanistan. Because they are not educated, they don't know that they have their rights. They can do everything that a man can do. You know, I'm sure that they can. American woman can do it, and Afghan woman can do it also. <laughs> Well, when she finishes her MBA, Amani hopes to have a co-op here in the United States, preferably in Rochester. Now, if you know someone with an interesting story, you can contact Chris at viewfinder at rnews.com or leave him a message at 756-VIEW.